Welcome back to the Response Respawn. Today I'm highlighting this Lady Deathstrike deck. I've uh, played with it a little bit. Let's pop in and see what we got. Um, hopefully this is kind of working within the meta. I would say you could probably throw in a Shang-Chi here. Maybe even a Silver Surfer to support cards like Brood, Killmonger, Venom. But essentially we got Forge, which is supporting Wolverine, Brood, Lady Deathstrike. Um, we have Okoye doing the same work, really trying to boost that Lady Deathstrike up, and Hulkbuster really to add on to Wolverine or Lady Deathstrike or, you know, anything like that. Um, there was, I mean, there's another, you know, there's other options like <coughs> playing Deadpool, which honestly might be better. Then, um, and then Wolverine in this case, now that I think about it, since we have Forge, um, and Killmonger. So, yeah, we'll see. Uh, we'll get, we're gonna run this deck. Really, it's just a normal mm -hmm. destroy deck with Brood on there and Okoye. Um, it's an interesting kind of twist on that, but. Really, Brood and Akoi are just supporting, like, um, you know, filling up the board. Um, they're even, they can even be used to support um, your Null, like, if you want to destroy the Broods on purpose. <coughs> so, if you meet me in game, General Soze, thank you guys for, again for watching. I'm probably just going to skip this turn and hop into Brood. Since it would pop up to be a 3 9, which is really. Or 3 12, my, I'm bad at math. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I want to apologize too, I'm just getting over COVID, but I wanted to get this deck out there for um, everybody to see. Since it's, it's really been a good meta breaker, but yeah, 312 is an amazing turnaround on Brood. Oop. Almost did that in the wrong way. So it looks like, you know, we're just dealing with a classic discard deck, which is another thing I love about Lady Deathstrike. Really good to get those Morbiuses out of the way. Um, really good to delete any taskmasters you might find, stuff like that. But really, I'm hoping they're going to play a Dracula. <coughs> Excuse me. So it looks like we're just going to be dealing with just APOC. So they can definitely flip mid. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> we can't really beat 12. Can we? Because that would be 6, 8. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, X-23 rolling mid kind of hurt us, and then we couldn't play fifth turn. Let's see if we can run another, another play here. Honestly, I, I think Wolverine, though, it might be better just because the board fill. I mean, I do see another card potentially... Nova is another good one. <coughs> Excuse me. Another one, Bucky. Bucky's a great one to play. Would Bucky actually get more use? I'm trying to think here real quick. <laughs> he might get more use just because. However, he wouldn't be good with Hulkbuster or anything like that.
So far, I think I still have about a positive win rate, probably around 50%. I think I've had to retreat three or four games, and I've lost two. I think I've won five or seven-ish with this, so we'll see if we can pull out a win here to highlight really this deck. I'm hoping I can get it kind of in the best order possible. Really what you're looking for is, I guess, X-23, Okoye, usually like a Wolverine, play lay death strike 5, and then play out your normal, and if you're lucky, play out, um, play out normal and death at the same time, the same turn. It's not anything crazy, but that lay death strike really likes to play death strike and destroy Jeff here. Lay death strike can get rid of a lot of things that are in the meta right now. So, that's one of the main reasons we're doing that. So we'll probably do uh, Jin and Carnage next turn. <laughs> They're really going energy hungry, but I think we can notice. It might be a bot, but I'm not sure if bots can have that icon now or not. <coughs> I think next turn, honestly, we can just Hulk Buster. If we get Lady Death Strike, that would be great. Oh, they retreated. <coughs> Excuse me. Should I get one more highlight real quick just to show you guys really this deck? That was not the best example considering our opponent's hands and how they retreated. So really, this isn't too bad. It would be nice if Brood was in the deck before we Akoye. <coughs> it would be nice if like, Death Strike was in the deck, or Null as well, but I think we can do some crazy work here. Luckily, we also have a Killmongler in here, like which I said. Killmongler's kind of been out of meta right now, so I think playing him has been kind of you know, like anti-meta, so it's really been going against the meta. Seems to be a very similar deck. This might be a Phoenix Force deck, though. Prying up our Null. All cluster of our own here would be pretty crazy. <coughs> mm -hmm. Considering that we can play this now. And with this, I think we got a snap. I think we can death strike if we had to. This is probably the highest 
power output we can get here. And it will power up our null in return, so I'm not too worried about this winning this one. I'm also quite confused why they even move the Nightcrawler. Okay, so we're gonna find off, but it's still an easy dub for us. Yeah, pretty close. GG. I mean, good job in Vault, but yeah. Hopefully, this can kind of highlight what we're talking about. Let me try to play one more game to see if we can actually highlight the best strike in action. But luckily, we did get a win there. Like I said, I, I feel like I've had a pretty good win rate. I'll have to let you guys know in future videos. I'm going to try to make some more formatted videos, um, kind of highlighting decks. So this is just a quick recording. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I'm planning on getting a, a newer mic for the computer setup. And then hopefully after that, like I said, we can try work on some deck builds. I've really been enjoying Marvel Snap for almost a year now, which is hard to believe. Koya was great there. Great to figure out on turn one. I'm also kind of happy that leader's out of the way. <coughs> it sucks that they got my X23 because Killmonger is going to help them. But let's see. Hopefully X-23 roll mid, Wolverine could roll mid too, that would be pretty awesome. Wave I'll take is probably good no one, so I mean, since they already got their leader out, I'm not too worried about a crazy huge play coming. Well, I'll take it kind of negative though. I just said I would probably like to do that, but actually this might be more beneficial. Just to kind of fill up the mid. Yeah, there's no... I don't think they can pass 11. And they'll lock their stuff up left. This has to be a bot. This is a, probably one of the easiest dubs. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed those games i'll try to highlight some more soon with the same deck hopefully showing more um you know x23 late death strike uh carnage action it, it seems to be a pretty consistent deck it is a little bit more of a thinking deck you kind of have to think about powering up like what you're trying to power up like are you going to power up that knoll are you trying to power up your death strike you know are you just trying to do a basic destroy and get a death in the middle of the last time? But really, death strikes in there. And Killmonger are in there. Uh, just kind of support like the meta right now to kind of destroy like, stuff that's getting in the way. Um, I could see putting a Shang-Chi in here, like I said, to get rid of Blobs. But a lot of people were playing Blobs last turn. Eliath perhaps, but I'm not a fan of running Eliath, and I, I actually don't think I even own Eliath personally. Um, I couldn't see it being great in this deck, but, <coughs> excuse me, you know, I appreciate you guys tuning in for so long. Um, more videos to come, and I'm trying to get back into the YouTube, so if you've watched this far, please give it a like, and uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.